Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just starting off priming my face using my Ofra Ultimate Face Primer and then going ahead and doing my brows using my Brow Definer and Brow Set. Moving on to the eye makeup, I'm using the Lorac Eyeshadow Primer and then this shade from Makeup Geek called Purely Naked, which is kind of like a really soft brown. And I'm just buffing that into the crease using my Sigma E40. I will leave links to the, the eye brushes that I use down below, as well as all the products mentioned. We're only going to be using two crease shades and I'm taking this one from the Sigma Smokescreen Palette and taking my Sigma E25 brush to brush, to brush, to blend this into my crease just to further deepen it and add uh, more dimension to the eye. Then I'm going back in with the original, oh my god I literally cannot talk, the original fluffy brush that we were using, the Sigma E40 just to soften out the two colours together and make sure there is no harsh lines. For the lid shade, I'm using this Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow in the shade Pegasus. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's such a gorgeous colour. I never really use turquoise because blue and blue don't really complement each other, as in my eye colour and shadow colour. But I really wanted to use this one because I've not used it yet. And you guys have been asking for more colour, so I thought I would start off with this one. And then I'm going back in with the Sigma E25 just to soften the crease colour into the lid shade and then I'm going in with my makeup wipe just to clean up the edges and make sure we get that nice wing so it makes our eyeliner so much easier to do. You can use tape for this or you can use your concealer or something like that. This is just the method I prefer to use. For eyeliner, I'm using my Inglot Gel Liner in number 77 and this amazing eyeliner brush from Sigma. I'll leave it down below. It's literally my favourite for eyeliner. Then going ahead and applying lashes. These are the Red Cherry 523s. So just really wispy and have a little wing. Moving on to face, I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and it's a bit beige for me. So I'm adding this skin-based mixer from Illamasqua, which is new and it's in the shade Amber just to add that yellow tint. Then I am using my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and just applying that to all the places that I want to highlight so you guys know the drill down the centre of my nose, chin, above the brow and then I am blending it in with my Real Technique sponge. Obviously it's damp otherwise you, it literally like it doesn't do anything. Making sure the sponge is damp absorbs any excess product and blends everything really nicely into the skin and make sure that you're using like minimal product on the skin and avoids that kind of cakey look. Then I'm using this liquid highlighter from Sigma on the tops of my cheekbones um, and then just blending that in with my finger just because I think that's the um, best way to blend these kind of products in as your fingers have kind of warmth to them and it blends it in to the other creams that you've already applied to your skin and I'm in love with this. I recently got it and it gives such a nice glow to the skin. Then using my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm not baking or anything, I'm using this really small kind of precise tapered face brush from Sigma to press it um, under my eyes, making sure not to obviously mattify the highlighter we just put down, but just using it in all the places that we highlighted with the concealer to get rid of any shine and make sure it lasts all day. Then I'm using MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer underneath the highlight that we just placed um, in my cheekbones, bringing it up onto my forehead and just essentially placing it in all the places that I want to warm up my skin. For blusher, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Blusher in Warm Soul. This is literally the blusher I'd recommend to anyone that's a bit scared to try blusher because it's such a subtle colour. Then I'm highlighting my cheeks again with a powder highlighter using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This is essentially just to kind of emphasise the liquid highlighter that we put on. As you can see, it's amazing. The conversation, to, the conversation? The combination together is like my new favourite. Moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking this waterproof cream colour in the shade Ice Blue with a really kind of small flat shader brush and just placing this in my waterline to add a pop of colour to match the eyelid. You could use a pencil for this. I was looking through my collection and I literally couldn't find a pencil in this colour. This was the kind of only thing I could put in my waterline that was closest to the lid shade and as you can see it adds just like a really interesting pop of colour. So you could use any sort of colour for this to kind of match the lid shade. I just decided to go for turquoise. Then taking the original purely naked colour that we had in the crease and just placing that underneath the waterline to soften it out and add a bit of depth to the lower lash line. Then applying bottom lash mascara and that is the eyes completed.
Moving on to lips, I'm taking this pencil from NYX in the colour Nude Beige. I'm going with a nude lip just because I didn't want to draw any attention away from the eyes. I know you guys always think I do a nude lip, but they are my favourite as you guys know. Then recently I picked up a couple of liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colours and I wanted to try them out and I am in love. This one is in the shade Truffle, more of a cooler tone colour but still a bit of a nude, but it was a bit too pink for me. So I decided to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss in Undressed just to add a bit more of a toned down nude look so it wasn't so pink and that is the finished look i'm obsessed with both of these i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next tutorial bye guys and mac lipstick in velvet teddy which i'm pretty sure because of her anyway um I think one of her makeup artists said ages ago that she wore Velvet Teddy 